In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HBr plus NaOH. This is hydrobromic acid plus sodium hydroxide. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. It's already balanced, so that's nice. Then we need to write the states for each substance. So when we look at HBr, if we've memorized our strong acids and strong bases, we can see that right here, HBr that's a strong acid. That means it's going to dissociate completely. So whatever dissolves will dissociate completely. So we write AQ. It's going to split apart into its ions. Sodium hydroxide right here, that's a strong base. That'll dissociate as well, AQ. Water is a liquid. And then sodium compounds are very soluble. So we're going to write AQ. That'll dissociate into its ions as well. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will be the complete ionic equation. So hydrogen, group 1, has a 1 plus ionic charge. And then that bromine there, that bromide ion, that's 1 minus. So we'll have H plus plus Br minus. And I won't write the states right now. Let's write those at the end. Plus sodium group 1, 1 plus. And the whole hydroxide ion has a 1 minus charge. Good to remember. So we have Na plus. And then we have that hydroxide ion, OH minus. And those are the reactants. For the products, we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations. We're just going to write H2O. And then we said sodium plus bromide ion is a negative charge. So plus Na plus plus the bromide ion, Br minus. So this is the complete or total ionic equation for HBr plus NaOH. Now we can cross out these spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They really haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. Here I see there's a bromide ion in the reactants and in the products. Cross that out. You can see there's a sodium ion in the reactants and the products. Cross it out. But everything else, that makes up the net ionic equation for HBr plus NaOH. I'll clean this up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for hydrobromic acid plus sodium hydroxide. You'll note the charge is conserved. We have a positive and a negative. They balance out, give us a neutral compound. And mass is conserved as well. We have one, two hydrogen atoms. We have two hydrogen atoms. One oxygen atom, one oxygen atom. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for hydrobromic acid plus sodium hydroxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.